Brennan's very, uh, he's, a, he's, I mean, like, first of all, he's a, he's a psychopath at the best of times, you know, I mean, like, he murders people with hammers at Christmas time, you know, when most people get presents from Santa. So uh, revenge is very much on the cards for him, and let's face it, he's a, he's a good card player. The irony is that he was wrongfully accused for murdering somebody, when, when in fact he's actually a murderer himself, it's just for the, a different crime. He's very much Old Testament kind of guy, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, uh, Catholic boy. And is it true that he's turned to the Bible while he's uh, inside? He's always been a religious man. He's always had the crucifix around his uh, neck. And if you watch some of the scenes before he does out and crazy or something like that, he, he, he'll he touch it or he'll kiss it or he'll do something very subtle with it. Uh, so he kind of prays for forgiveness before he does something. So he's a, he's a kind of like that, that Catholic boy, you know? He'll do something bad and then wrap barbed wire around his underpants and flagellate himself on the floor. Is it fun to play someone with, with that level of depth? And with that level of depth, yeah, yeah. And he's got so many different masks, you know, so it's never, it's never boring. And, and there, there, is a, there is a fear that you can get, get bored very easily. I don't like the comfort zone, you know. I like, uh, I like a character to go this way or that way, but never that way. And it's the same as myself as well. So with uh, the many, many faces of Brendan, um, and they're really starting to write really well for me as well. It's the scripts I'm getting, I have to say, I've, got, I've gotten a block uh, recently where I read these scripts. And they're the best I've read in the year and a half I've been there, this particular block. And I was just like, I was laughing my balls off. It was, <laughs> it was pretty, pretty funny stuff. When I first arrived, um, I always described Brendan as the sociopathic homophobic gay man. But he had this fear of being outed, this fear of... Uh, so that could always hold him back. And it made him vulnerable, I guess, in a way. Uh, and now that everybody knows about him and his sexuality, he doesn't have that fear anymore. So he's a little bit more of a fruitcake. And that's exactly what I want to do. I want to keep pushing it. Um, and everyone in Oaks just allows you to do that. They're, just, they're, they're so kind. And uh, so long as we keep doing that. And, and push it, because it's a 6.30 show, so you can't really get away with much. But we've been pushing it big time to see if we can. And would you hope that maybe one day he'd be remembered as one of the great soap uh, baddies? Or? Um, I don't really think of it that way. I mean, my aim coming into Oaks was to be the most hated man in Britain. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty much what I wanted to do. Um, the irony is the more weird he became, the more people kind of laughed and liked him, you know? And they ask you, to, like, if you're out and about, you know, the facial expressions that, you know, it talks to society, and it, it, Brendan does, in, in a kind of weird, perverse way. I don't know what that says about society, but they kind of, they, they kind of like the psychopath. And any future for him and Steve? <sighs> Standing. <laughs> I love it. I love how, uh, how, how digital spy as well, and, but the whole country have embraced that. He's a great guy, Carol, and it's a pleasure to work with. Um, it's kind of that uh, forbidden fruit, isn't it? Literally. You know, it pretty much is. It's that kind of thing where you, you don't want them to get together because it's so self-destructive, yet you can't see life without those two being together. So it's got kind of cash 22, you know. It's just a, it's a strange kind of love, and it's addictive. Um, will there be a future for them? I mean, God... I'd find it very hard to believe that they would not be in each other's lives. But that's in the hands that be, the powers that be, and the script writers, the gods, I suppose. But um, I'd like to see some, some different things happening. I know Kieran won't anyways. And we could just continue to dance with each other. So that's what it's all about. We've got a, lot of, got a lot of love for each other. Not that way, but, you know, we've got a lot of love for each other. Well clarified. <laughs> um.